All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah. And <laughs> this is take two because I rambled like for 55 minutes and there's no way I was putting a video of 55 minutes of me doing building. But real quickly, uh, look at some comments. Um, Mattias Fernandez had uh, wrote that he figured out how to use a blinking plant from one of my early videos. I suggest you go and look at um, some of the videos. Well, first off, thank you for watching. And check out some of the videos on the um, quarries that I build because the blinking plant is used for there. Um, Tom Racer1234 was asking about pure DB craft. So I put a couple links in the forum in, 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 the, in the response about... Um, a convert program because that's a Minecraft texture pack and it's kind of copyrighted. But I can't really see a problem with using, you know, the copyrighted material for yourself. You just can't share it or give it away or do anything with it to hurt the person's intellectual property and copyright. But the, the texture pack does look kind of really cool. Um, yeah, or you can try creating your own textures, which is not the easiest, but is, is a lot of fun. Uh, a couple things off of my studio video. Um, I don't think this person, I'm not going to, I can't even try to pronounce the name. I don't want to disrespect by uh, pronouncing it wrong. Kariwala. I don't think he's a normal viewer of mind test gameplay footage however he did uh lenovo laptops are so bad i have a t tpe 580 worst laptop ever and it goes on about the cooling solution in it and the thermal throttling now the uh, e-series laptops i've been told is the the economy line um my e45 I have not had any remorse with or um, any issues at all. And my daughter's Flex uh, 14 Lenovo, um, and hers is Intel, mine's AMD. She is not, mine's Horizon. She has not had, we have not had any, any problems with it. Ours are working fine. I'm wondering if he actually has a bad laptop. And because the bio, he said the BIOS updates degraded performance. Um, and never buy a laptop from this company. And it, it's really sad that, you know, you, you spend 600 plus dollars or a thousand, you know, 1500. And if you don't get the computer that you, you want, or it doesn't, you know, it just completely blows your idea of the company away that, you know, because obviously this person thinks that Lenovo laptops are all bad. He could have a bad one. Um, or it's just that it's not doing what he expected it to do. In either case, I hope he finds a laptop that is to his expectations and, and does work or gets out, you know, figures out whether or not this laptop is bad. But my BIOS update actually made mine run, run better, uh, because it had a, it had a BIOS update from December right out of the box. And I've been very fortunate that mine is living up to my expectations. So I hope, uh, I hope you find a laptop that um, is good because there's really not too many companies out there. Um, the only laptops I'll use are either Apple MacBooks or a Dell or a Lenovo. Um, I'm not too fond of Acer or Asus. I will never, ever use an HP. I think they're just they're just throwaway devices, but that's my opinion. Um, yeah, so uh, good luck, man. I hope you find what you're looking for. Um, yeah, and it's cold out, man. It's three degrees right now, but it was negative five when I drove my daughter to the school bus stop, and <laughs> because she's precious. You can't walk in the cold weather. Man, when I was growing up, and this is going to be one of those back in my day, back in my day, we walked to school. I walked a mile and a half of school in three, four feet of snow 
in negative 10 degree weather. These kids today, gosh darn it. And it, it is true, man. My, my parents wouldn't get out of bed to drive me to school. They wouldn't even make me breakfast. At nine years old, I was making my own breakfast. So, so there. <laughs> and I checked. Briley's from Finland. It's 22 degrees Fahrenheit out in Finland, which is like negative six uh, Celsius. So we're freezing in Chicago. And I know uh, June Krebs is in Nebraska. He's got to be cold. Nathan's up in Wisconsin. He's got to be cold. And everybody, this is, this is frostbite and nerve end damaging, skin damaging weather. So stay warm. Cool. All right. Now let, let, let's get on with the video. Isn't that right? In, um, I forgot his name. Ichiko. Oh my God. I forgot my favorite anime player's name. But there. So real quickly out here at my, at my factory, before we get on to the, or at my factory, would, would, the whole idea of this factory was supposed to be a modern factory mining operation. If you look at my past videos and then there was like a, a castle that used to be here that was converted. Well, it was just a plain building. So I added a, t I added a tower. So what, what is, what's going to happen? And for the person that w I would talk about the blinking plant. So the blinking plant is basic, man, that's loud. Here's a blinking plant and what it's used for. I'm going to turn it on. Did it turn on? Yep. It turned on. You see, it's blinking. There we go. And what it's used to like power the injectors. So you're actually going to see, see stuff going out for the mining. I better go turn that off because I don't have the other part of the mining operation turned on. So we are going to leave that off. Is it off? Yes, it is. Good. It's still loud. And so now nothing's going to come out of the injector because I have stuff sitting in here which is now going back and forth through the um, other part of there. So I converted this castle into a mining operation. So I moved some stuff over, like the trash can, and I'm going to probably move the battery boxes into this new area and make, make a cool addition out of here. I could even like do a, a quarry underneath here, but, but basically that's how this is going to look and work. And now it's raining. Brilliant. To give that effect. So when I'm usually burned out on my builds, uh, which the townhouse has been kicking my butt, I like to go to my other builds and add stuff and update. So there's one of the quarries. There's another quarry out yonder here. See, I'm an environmentalist. So <laughs> there is that one quarry has been turned into a fishery to give back to the environment. Even in even in the mind test world. I give back. And that's a sculpture that I copied from I think it's Vanessa E's creative server. I saw this on. But I, I like that sculpture so much that I copied it. Yeah. So, real quickly, we're going to head over to the townhouses because I completed the exterior. So, it, this area up here, it kind of lends into the, the old castle idea. As you can see, I put in some forest trees along the roadway. Now it looks like one of those Russian roads out of the car crash compilation videos. Because in Russia, I have guardrails though. In Russia, those rural roads where people are passing each other is like nutcakes. Every time they go into a ditch, and they all have ditches, that's why I put guardrails up, and they all flip. The cars all flip and wreck. Unreal. I don't know. Maybe it's made by design that way. So this area is going to be barren wasteland, and then this I'm going to fill out more forest over here because there's a Japanese castle off yonder. And I want to make a road to the Japanese castle. So we're going to come down here and here's a, my other cottage. Yeah. 
and I put a bunch of oak trees down here. Ooh, very nice, I guess, to fill out this area. So now we're going to take a, and I like how that biome just ends there. Brilliant. There's the forest house. So we're going to come over here and, ooh, spooky old house. Like I said, this is the second time I'm recording this video, and it is just unreal. So, here's the exterior, and it turned out pretty good. I have to do some more detail work around these windows here. I'm, a, I'm probably going to put clear windows in. I did some kind of, you know, I have all the crown molding, the upper molding up uh, from too many nodes facade. And I put in some, some nice accents and highlights to break this area up. I also put in an automatic door for the garage, but I'm gonna probably change the block. But I kind of like that. It looks like a it looks like a door. And it's automatic. And I did that with help from a player detector and a gate um a gate controller. So that is very cool. I didn't want to throw that block away. So what I have over here, for the most part, the exterior is done. So I just, like I said, I have to add some accents and stuff. Ooh. <laughs> I love that sound. So the exterior is done. I have to add some accents and stuff to make that look, to stand out a little more. On this side of the building, there's going to be some windows for the second unit. And then back here, I just picked up a tree. Back here, I'm going to, I have to play with the landscaping on there. But this is where, this is the real cool part. Now, that's, I made that patio too big obviously. So we are going to go in and look at the changes that I made real quickly and not do a 55 minute video on me mirandering around. So there, there's going to be some, some contrast put in there. So you come in here and you got this kind of cool entrance foyer and then the, obviously the, the garage entrance foyer way. And I'm going to put some sh like shrubbery here to some plants to make that. These stairs are going to be replaced with solid stairs because I decided that I like the wall better than without it. So over here is going to be the formal living room, formal seating area. And then we're going to have a more relaxed seating area over here with the TV. Yeah. And this is going to be the kitchen table. And then I put this kind of kitchen in. So this is a mock-up of the kitchen. In here is going is a this is going to be the pantry because over here will be the bathroom for the first floor. And I'm not sure what doors I want to use. I like those. I'm tired. I, I'm not, it's not that I don't like those other doors, however, ooh, that turned out cool for the pantry. Very nice. That's going to be the bathroom. There's going to be some chairs here, and this is going to get extended. Um, I don't think I have, I might have to replace these counters with makeshift, my own counters to pull off the island, but there's going to be an extension on here and then some chairs here for an eat-in kitchen. This would be a nice place for a window. Yes, it would. If I had glass. Yes, I do. I have glass. What's the problem here? And to solve that problem until I go in, there we go. 
One, two, one, two. That looks cool. That looks very cool. Let's get rid of some stuff here. No, I need that. Oh, I wanted to try something. I see it now. I see the light. This is, I don't... Silverstone corner blocks. Hmm. That's kind of cool looking. That might be the contrast that I'm looking for on some of this other stuff. And I found another I found another use for those RGS Pro um, blocks. Get rid of the windows here, the, the white baked clay, and the concrete. So on too many nodes, let's take. Do I want the brown? Oh no, the red one. Cool. I want to try something real quickly. Just bear with me to create create this real quick and throw up throw up that didn't work what am I doing wrong here it would help if I use the right the right block Wow. There we go. I wanted to play with these blocks to make a um, tree surround. Hmm. Where'd that go? I had a, um, there we go, a sapling. And it should just be a default, default sapling. <laughs> yeah. I think this, this will turn into grass. That looks cool, using that. It's almost like a large planter. I'm going to leave that. Very cool. And that's uh, from the facade mod. From Too Many Nodes. And as usual, all the mods are at my mods used page on my website. So let's go back in here. This is a little patio here. And we have a balcony. I'm going to fix that balcony because it's, it looks it's too big. And we come in here, so we do, here's the first floor. And the first floor is going to re relatively be unchanged. I'm just going to add the furniture, and that'll make it look really cool. And then we go up to the second floor. The second floor, this is a little harder. I use some crown molding, and there's going to be a bathroom over here for for this room. And then... Out here, this room here, this is going to be a general open area. I could almost make that into another room. And here's going to be another bedroom. And this open, open general area. This is going to get a balcony off of here. And I'm, I'm going to put a washroom in here. I wonder how that will work. Don't know until I try. See, I'm going to have to figure something out because that's not enough. Now, I kind of blew that. I can't put the stairs anywhere else. I'm going to figure out. There, there's going to be a bathroom there. Probably. Do something like this. This should look okay. 
but that's four. You know, it, it doesn't matter. Not everything in life is perfect as much as we want to make it. So there's going to be a bathroom. I'm kind of not liking these rails. I might do something different with the rails. This is going to remain open because this is all going to be like usable area over here. And that's the second floor. That'll work. I could actually almost make this into another bedroom. I don't know. I will play with that. So then we come up to the third floor. Now this up here. So I want to move this all in by one. I don't know. Do I? Don't know, but what we're going to do here is we're going to make this one and two. I don't think I grabbed. I don't think I grabbed um, everything. No, I didn't. So I'm going to use a helper block and do, so what I want to do is one, I, and I could have done that better, two and one, we're going to copy this down by Four, five, six, I guess. Let's see if this works. Copy, look direction, six, copy region. Okay. It didn't work because I messed up. <laughs> did not that did not go as planned so let's go um, we're going to move region up by one and that's still oh my god what happened it still didn't work oh no I moved the wrong region And I fixed it. That was embarrassing. Okay. <sighs> this region is what gets moved up. Two, one. Move region one. There we go. There's a there's a very oh. I don't know. So, other than that, how's everybody else doing out there? It is cold. As I said before. But, and it is snowing. It, it just started snowing again, which is not good. Okay, so, what we are going to do is I want to see about putting... I need a banister railing again. I could also use the railings off of um, I can use the railings from the bridges an industrial mod. I have to that didn't work. I know some people don't like it when I scroll through my inventory. It's just I'm lazy. I'm a mouse user. And what the, what happens when you use a mouse is that um, 
you don't use the keyboard commands a lot. That's that's looking pretty cool. I wanna I just wanna look at this before I before I um decide whether or not that's nice. I like that. But these bottom parts are going to be redone in a contrasting color to make them to make them better. And we have our tree. Yeah, look at this all. And here's how I cure that. So from, from Dream Builder, we have these different soils. Forest soil number four. These will not change. There. Actually... I'm going to go that I'm going to go one more. That looks good. Now that looks like a tree thing and then I can plant some flowers on there. So there we go. So basically and I'm going to put some accents around here to make that look um even much more better. I was I was thinking about using my decks using the wood and then putting some poles down i don't know how bad that looks so we have a patio down here and we have balconies up here i wanted to have hi mr deer we i wanted to have everything over here but there's a wall right there on the second floor so it looks pretty cool i'm happy with that i'm overall i'm not really happy with this build because it, it very much steered away from the original. But with all the interior stuff, that's what's going to save this build for me. I might actually be out No, I don't want to go one more. So I am liking, liking this. So what is that? That is fabric gray. Um, that's, Fabric medium gray. Where is my fabric? I had a, I had a fabric block. Fabric black, dark gray, medium gray. Now why is that? No. Oh. So what I'm going to do is go into my table saw, my circular saw. It's a table saw. And I'm going to just grab that. Really? <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant, I tell you. Because I'm going to use that area down, down there. There we go. That looks cool. So basically, it's going to turn out. I'm happy. I'm happy with this. I have to. I just have to finalize my um, floor plan. And let's go up here real quick to the third floor because I need. I need that block because. That block has what I want with the white ceiling. So that's one of my blocks where I have the top and then the bottom are different. So there's the bathroom. Nice size bathroom. It'll work. And then here for this area. And here... This is going to be a full bathroom. So that will work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, you know, little accents and stuff around. Which makes it 
which makes it really cool. So if I take um, baked clay and white, go back into my circular saw, and we can you do something like that, and it really it really brightens that up. As you can see. I could do the same thing on the other end too. But it had, it, that's what I'm talking about, about adding more contrast. So I'm going to do something similar for these windows over here. So that is the second floor. Now we have a patio off here to go see the sunset. Put a chair out here. Look at the sunset. I'm going to leave these stairs for the third floor. I like the open stair design. Oh, that is looking, now I'm getting uh, more pumped up about this. And up here, I really don't know what I'm gonna do with, I can't put a doorway over here for this bedroom. I'm gonna have to either leave this open or have a hallway because of the way the room sits and because of the way the bathroom is. I'd have to have a door here, which that would kind of mess with the seating area, but that's an idea too. But it's it's the master unit, so yeah, we're gonna go with these doors here. And there's a closet. So that's cool. I'm digging this. Digging this man. And go from there. So that's that's how it's gonna be then. This is gonna this is gonna be like a private office area over here. I can put another wall in over here. Um to partition this off a little bit. And this is just a little hallway that leads down. You know what, I might actually put, because this is all going to be open area, I might actually, no, I can't do that. I don't know, I'm going to I'm gonna figure that out. So, basically, and make that contrasting. So, basically, and I'm gonna, I, mean, I have to finagle and feather in the uh, landscaping. The tree looks cool. So I don't I don't know if uh, too many nodes thought of that as a possible usage for his molding, but that turns out even better. And that's off a little bit, but that's that's fine. I'm I'm okay with that because there'll be a couch, or there could be like a that would put it there no i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna leave that and i'm gonna change this wall to white and it won't affect because it's it's that colored block the colored on one side i might do something i might put extend that wall here to give that more Oh, that was brilliant. That was just utterly brilliant. That looks better. It, that, that didn't matter. So, it's that's the the exterior is done. This build is is more or less done. Now it's just it's just putting in all the interior parts, and I'm I might take that down. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I might extend the, the foyer tiling out to here just to give it just to give it that much more. And I'm going to wrap this video up because I'm already entering into the um, 30 minute zone here. There we go. I wonder how this would look. You know what? Oh, 
I have those arches. Hi, Mr. Deer. Another deer. I'm going to play with that. I might be able to come up with some cool designs for that. So that's going to do it. Basically, the the build is done. Um, the building is done. I just have to finish up the windows and fix the balconies. Put in some chimneys. There's going to be a laundry room. Uh, furnish it, and but for you know that's just that's just other stuff there. So there you have it, and it's raining. So that's the townhouses uh, over here. I'm going to do something different with. So I got rid of that building, and to get to the office part. But now I'm pumped up again on making this work. And the only other thing I forgot is because this is a two-way road is to come out here that will work because it needs to <laughs> you need to um you need to have a way to get out of your driveway. There. I'll do the same thing for the other the other side. Because I want to keep that center part with the trees. I like that. So that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. Um... This will be, I might show, uh, I'm going to show the interior, but for the most part, this build is completed. Um, it, this build has been dragging on. I do like the door. I'm going to copy the door over. The other one is basically going to mimic, but I might do something different with the interior. So I'll just do, I'll do updates to it. But the townhouse idea, it works. I just have to um, execute it a little bit better next time. I am going to put balconies off of this over here, or because I'm doing the layout differently, I'll probably put them on the back here and, and go from there. And here I'm just going to put some something to break up the monotony of the color. And that should do it. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, everybody, please stay safe because it is brutally cold out. And go from there. Which I already said. And there's a deer again. It's the same deer. I'm Mr. Deer. Does the deer have any dough? Swainly. Two bucks. No, no, no. That was a bad curly impersonation, but it works. All right. Again, thank you. And uh, until next video, goodbye.